This isn't over. We'll meet again, Mr. Gold. That we will. Welcome back everyone to another epic course. We've talked a lot about a superhero landing, but what about a superhero takeoff? Now it's actually kind of the same thing as a superhero landing. All the same techniques are involved, but I want to go one step further. I want to give you special effects that when you blast off as a superhero, you see smoke, you have widescreen, your camera shakes and moves. So let me give you a demonstration and we'll take it back to the editing room and I'll show you how this is done. But first we're going to do just like the same as a superhero landing. You're going to give yourself a blank slate, make sure the sky's not moving, make sure there's nothing moving in the background, and then you're going to stand there and jump in the air. Let me show you. So right here we have our blank background, there is nothing moving, so I think we're going to be pretty okay with this superhero jump. Now remember, as long as you're editing in your mind what that's going to look like, you're going to be just fine. Let's take it back to the editing room. All right guys, so we're gonna jump straight into this. Now the first thing you wanna do is find that blank slate, save it as a picture, export frame, you don't have to save it as anything, click OK, it appears right here. So we will drag that, I'm just gonna set it right here for now, and then we wanna find the spot where you jump, and that will be right here. You can go to here if you want, but then it just has a lot more time to not be in the air, so I'm gonna go to right here, Save as a picture, click OK, and delete the rest of it right here. All right, now we have this kind of look. If you put those two clips together, boom, blasts off. Not bad. So now we're going to do the same type of thing that we've done with the previous versions. If you've taken the other five tricks class that I've done, uh, we're gonna use the opacity tool and cut our person out. Now remember, like I said, this does not have to be perfect. I'm gonna zoom in 400%, go to my effects controls and go to my opacity tool. And now I'm going to draw around my person. Now I've said this before and I'll say it again in case you're new, this does not have to be a perfect drawing because it is going to go so fast, you are not gonna have a single clue if you're a little outside the lines. I know, oh, see, control Z if that happens. And now we can feather it, and I'm gonna feather almost none of it. I'm gonna keep it as much as I can like that. And there, see, we have like a little bit of a line here, and if you really want, you can go back in your mask and you can fix that, you can drag that line in. So you can tweak it up a little bit, but I think that's pretty good for what we're going to need, so we'll do back to fit. So what we wanna do with this, guys, we wanna put it over our blank slate right after this clip. So he jumps and you can see him staying right here. Now you'll notice something down here. The shadow disappears. And if you want, okay, now let me show you something. Let me, we'll bring this clip back in again. We can do that same thing, and you know what, we'll do it for this one. I'll show you an example. You may not have a shadow, and if you don't, great. But we'll do the same thing with the opacity tool, and I'm gonna cut out the shadow. Usually I don't do this because of the grass. The grass moves too, and it looks kind of dumb. So I'm just gonna make this really simple and we'll see if this is able to be added in at all. It may not be and that's fine, it's not really a big deal. But there you can kinda see the shadow right there. All right, so the next part, of course, it's pretty simple. And I'm actually gonna leave some blanks under here, some blank spots here because I'm gonna put effects in with my guy in just a little bit as well. So what I need to do now is click on my top clip, which is my person. You're gonna to go to your keyframes. So if I go to position and scale, I'll click both of these on. I'll go, let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 keyframes over, and you can just use your arrows on your 
uh, keyboard to uh, go frames if you want. And then we're gonna go to the 540 and we're gonna move our guy up in the air like that until he's out of the frame. So if we push play on that, boom. Now see, that is so slow. So we're actually gonna do maybe like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames and drag that key thing over because that, for a blast off, there, that's better. Boom. So now we're gonna do the same thing with the shadow and we're gonna do the same. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna go like 10 over maybe 11, the shadow's gonna take longer to disappear. And we're actually gonna use the 960 and bring that across, like so. That way it looks like this, boom. That way you see the shadow moving, it looks like I'm getting higher in the sky. It's just an extra effect that you can add in. Make sure you control S and save your project when you can. So now I know what you want. You want special effects, right? So if you've downloaded the YouTube video that I told you to download in the second little part of the course right after the intro, I gave you instructions of how to do that. For me, that is not made yet because I'm still editing these courses, but it will be made for you when you get there. So it's going to be this right here. We're gonna start with this smoke effect. So we're gonna drag this under our clips. And as you see, there's a black screen. And how you get rid of that black screen is you go over to your effects controls, go down to your opacity and the blend mode and then you're gonna to go to screen, and that's gonna take all the black away and make sure that your thing is balanced to your screen. Now, you notice this line right here? That's because it's leaving frame, so we're gonna to have to do some extra special things so that the smoke doesn't leave the frame. So first, I wanna find where the smoke starts, which is right here. I'm gonna delete that and drag it over. Now we wanna position this smoke where we jump. So how we're gonna do that is click on this, we're gonna click our motion, and then you can drag this motion, bring it bigger, bring it smaller, however you wanna do this, but we're gonna move it over right here. And now we wanna do keyframes, because in about 10 keyframes or so, that smoke is leaving the frame and it looks really bad. So what we wanna do is do the scale and the position. We wanna move it over until we see it leaving that frame about there. Click on your motion, and drag it out nice and big. It's not the best, I shouldn't have jumped so far away because it kind of looks weird that that smoke is flying all the way towards me. It's really not the best look, you guys, but that's fine. But that's what we'll do for this one. So that's the start. You can see me blasting off like so. The second effect that I have is a dirt essential. And what this one does this is for my blast off effect. So I'm actually gonna stick this on top of me. Same thing, we're gonna click on this, go to your effects, and you're gonna do screen under your blend mode, and it gets rid of it. Now, once again, we wanna line up, and this one's, I'm gonna move it to here just so I can line it up right. And we're gonna line this up right here. I'll probably do a little bit smaller. right there, because we want this to blast. Drag that out, all right. So if you look at it, it goes boom, and it blasts, there's a little blast right there. Now this right here, if we zoom in, I'm not a big fan of this line. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on this blue right up top, and you're gonna go to your opacity tool, and you're gonna cut just around this line right here. Then you're going to click right here, and click inverted and that'll take away that line. That way when we're watching it and we see this blast, the smoke goes away and there's not some weird line right there. So, so far this is what you have. You have running and then boom, blast off with some smoke. Now that is pretty good, but I know what you want. You want widescreen, you want color, you want the screen to shake, you want all the really fun things, right? Well, so do I. So what you wanna do is I'm going to, I'm just gonna cut this because we don't need all of this. Kinda of shorten this up a little bit here. And what we wanna do is you wanna highlight everything. Just click your mouse and drag and it'll highlight everything. You're gonna right click anywhere you want and you're gonna click on nest. And this is going to nest all of your clips together. So, and click okay. So when I move, 
my position, for example, it's going to move all the effects. It's going to move the air guy. It's going to move the background. It moves everything all at once, and that's exactly what we want. So the first thing that I would suggest doing is doing some coloring. So we're going to go over to our Lumetri color. If you don't have that, it's going to be in your color panel. So for now, I'll just do the color up here because that's what you guys are probably going to be used to. So we'll click the color tab. And now we can adjust the colors. Now, if you go to creative right here, it's going to give you some options. And these are preset colors that you can click through and do whatever you want. For example, if I click that, my whole screen changes. I could do, see that's way too bright. If I click that, this one's kind of cool. It's blue color, green color. This next one's kind of a darker look. It's kind of rad as well. You know, we'll stick with this color for now because I kind of like it. If you go to your basic color correction up here, you can tweak like your exposure and contrast and highlights, you know, mess with color as much as you guys want. It, it, it adds to it, it really makes it fun. You can desaturate so it looks weird, you can oversaturate it. I'll probably do about there. And for me, I'll call this good for now because I'm just trying to have some fun with it. So next, we're gonna go back into editing and we are going to add some widescreen. And how you add widescreen is you right click, you're gonna to go to new item and then adjustment layer. And then you're going to click okay. So sorry for all of you that you're like, this is a lot. Yeah, this is more of an advanced course, which is what I really wanted to tackle for this. So the adjustment layer you're gonna put on top of your clip, and then you're gonna to go to your effects controls, and you're gonna type in crop, C-R-O-P, crop. You're gonna drag this and you're gonna drop it onto your adjustment layer. Now you're gonna to go to this area right here. See the left? Uh, if I do left, I'm cropping away 51% of my video. But what we want is the top and we're gonna type in 10. 10% it crop is gonna be taken off the top of the video and then we wanna to go to the bottom and do 10% as well and the bottom is cropped and there you go. You have widescreen on your videos. So if I play it now, that is how it looks. And that's a pretty cool thing. You can stop there if you want, but of course for me, once again, I am just not finished. So now we're going to do the final step and we're gonna move our video. So on that nest clip, if you click that, you're gonna do your position and scale and then click motion and we're gonna move this thing. So I'm going to actually start a little more zoomed in I'm gonna drag it over to about here. And then I'm gonna press play. And once I get about there, I want to have my thing get about there. And I'll move my scale in maybe like 150. Now the more you move it in, the blurrier it's gonna get because it's only shot in 1080. But honestly, for this type of thing, it's fine. So if we watch that, just from that clip to that, it looks like that. So the camera moves and that's pretty sick. I love, I love doing that. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go right before he blasts off, you're gonna move this in maybe 200 and it'll zoom in like that. And now when he blasts, I'm going to just move keyframe by keyframe. I'll go maybe one, two, and I'm just gonna follow him up like that. And once I get to the top, I'm gonna go about that far over and I'm going to do about 120% and move my screen back to about there. And that kind of covered that smoke not looking as good because you're focused on him blasting off like that and then by the time you come back, there's smoke right here. So now all in all, with all those keyframes set, it looks like this. Now I didn't like something up here, the right here, see how that moved? I cut it a little too hard, so I need to move this up to about here. So, boom, just like that. So now let's show you a little before and after. If I click play, this is before any effects, just you flying in the air, and then once you add everything, it looks like that. And there you have it guys, that is how you do a superhero jump.